First of all, thank you for sending me your video. Shout out to Reifu, the nice person who sent me his log gameplay. He only sent me one match though, where he was getting demoted against a Josie. So I'm going to be pointing out what he could have done instead in this match. Also, I'm going to be teaching some few tips on how to fight Josie. So sit back and enjoy the video. I got this! Round 1. Fight! Ha! So right here, as you can see, she opens the round with a down forward 2. Now if you don't know it yet, Josie's down forward 2 is a high crush. She was expecting you to start the round of jabs so that she can launch you with her down forward too. Now we see here that you did 1, 2, 3 as a punish. And that should have punished the down forward too, but you were a bit late on this one. Josie's down forward 2 is minus 13, so ideally you want to punish that with loss 3, 4. That was the third time she attempted a magic fork, but you got lucky she didn't do a combo after that. Now we can see that she used her down 3-4 when you were getting up. It's possible to react after getting hit by the low first hit by ducking the second hit. So that's the second time she did a free option from Switch, and you should always parry this move every time you predict it. Never try to block it because you only get a wall standing 4. You will learn later that most lows are better off parried in this matchup. Okay, so right here you got a nice launch, but you did a wrong combo. Remember that the combo of counter hit 4 3 plus 4 is just the same as the one for down forward 2. You can see here that she whiffed a mid getup kick. Train yourself to punish whiffs like this with a 3 plus 4 4. Or you could punish whiff getup kicks with 4 4 4 3. Also, if you block one, remember that loss up forward 1 3 is the punish for mid getup kicks. So here you actually managed to float her, but you did a bad combo again. You should at least do a screw move every time you float someone. Again, you missed ducking the second hit. And look, she attempted to do switch 1. But good thing you didn't press anything because switch 1 is a frame trap counter hit launcher every time you block the kick that leads into switch. Josie's switch 1 is a safe high, but she's at minus 7. You shouldn't have done wall standing 2 first because you haven't conditioned her to duck yet. Try doing a slide next time. Now she did 1, 2, 4 into switch 1. You need to duck the third hit of this string to prevent her from mixing you off with switch dance. So here you managed to get a launch off a of junkyard, but you did a bad combo. There are two ways to screw off a junkyard launch. First is, if you enter DSS, you need to go with DSS3. But if you didn't enter DSS, you just go with forward 3-4. Round 2. Fight! So now she starts the round with 1-2 down 4. Remember that I told you to duck the third hit of 1-2-4. Well, it's actually better to attempt to low parry the third hit. Because this will beat both 1-2-4 and 1-2 down 4 at the same time. 
because you duck and parry at the same time. So you duck this time and punish your dwarf standing one too. Well nice try, but I told you it's better to low parry that string. Because this string has a high extension to deal with your punish attempts. So right here she started to do lots of 1-2-3, probably because she ducked and punished her 1-2 down 4. Josie will start using this if you're also ducking 1-2-4, but this one hurts a lot less than getting mixed up by switch stance. So if you blocked one of these, remember that it's minus 11 so you can do 4-3 into DSS. Now she does 2-4 into switch 1. You can also duck the 4, but this one is harder than 1-2-4, because you have less time to react after seeing the punch. And she can also do 2 down 4, so if you're good, you want to low parry after the 2 to beat both options. Okay, so now she does down forward 4 into either switch 1 or 3. Down forward 4 is the only switch transition which has a mid kick. The other 3 are down 3 4, 1 2 4, and 2 4, which all have duckable highs. So if you duck these 3, Josie only has down forward 4 left to enter switch stance which greatly reduces the chance of you getting mixed up because you're eliminating 75% of her switch transitions. Okay, so right here you block her up forward 3 plus 4, but did no punish. You should always punish this with 3-4. Round three, fight. Okay, so right here you can see that she's doing crouch dash moves after the down forward four. You can actually do a sidewalk left after you block down forward four. That's if you predict her doing crouch dash moves. But do be careful because everything from switch stance except switch 4 will track sidewalk left. Also, if you happen to block a crouch dash 2, remember to punish it with a 3 plus 4 4. And then if you block a crouch dash 3, punish it with a wall standing 1 2. Okay, so right here you just need to duck the last hit of back 1, 2, 4, 4. So right here you block her down forward 3 and punish with a wall standing 2. Well it worked because she chose to transition into crouch dash. But be careful when she only does the first hit to bait out your wall standing 2. Again this is another low which is much better if you just parry it because it eliminates all the possible mix ups after. Okay, so right here she whiffed a 3 2, but you did nothing. You should punish it with a 3 plus 4. Great. <laughs> Round 4 Fight. Okay, so right here you got caught by a switch 1. Well, that wouldn't have happened if you ducked the down 3 4 in the first place. 
But moreover, if you block any kick that leads into switch stance, the one option will counter hit you if you press an attack button. The 1 in 3 option could be avoided by low parrying. The 2 and the 4 option could be avoided by pressing buttons. Particularly a magic 4 will counter hit the 2 and float the 4 option. But you run the risk of running into switch 1 and 3. A safer option would be to parry the 2 and 4 options. Since both these options come out a little faster than the 1 option, you're gonna get to block the 1 and parry both 2 and 4. But remember that you'll still get hit by the 3. And yes, sidewalk isn't really that effective against switch stance because all the switch options have relatively good tracking. Except switch 4 which doesn't track sidewalk left. So right here she did a down forward 3-2, which I think is her reaction to you interrupting the crouch dash with the wall standing 2. This would have beaten any interrupt attempts from you, but if you block this, remember to punish it with 3-4. Okay, so right here you got hit by her back sway 1 because you followed her after blocking her switch 1. Josie is going to use her back sway as a quick evasive tool. In which, she has 3 options out of it. The first one is a high that launches a normal hit. And the second one is a mid which launches on counter hit. And is minus 13 on block. Both these options don't seem to track sidewalk right very well as long as you time your sidestep correctly. And the third option is that she can do a crouch dash off a backsway. KO. Final round. Fight. And here she did a down forward one for two. This string is similar to down 3 4, where if the low hits you, you can still duck the upcoming high. But you can also try to low parry the second hit, but Josie can do down forward 1 4 4 to paint the low into a mid. Fight. <laughs> Okay, so right here you block two hop kicks, but you did the wrong punishes for each one. Just so you know, most hop kicks in the game are around minus 13 on block. Well, except Lucky Chloe's, which is minus 15. So with Law, you gotta train yourself to punish with 3-4 every time you block a hop kick. If only you did a correct punish, you might have scored a wall splat and won this match. You lose. I can't believe I won. <laughs> All right, so I know I talk about a lot of stuff that you gotta watch out for in this matchup, but the way you gradually improve in Tekken is by making small reactions or punishes like this. Like for example, next time you play another Josie, make sure to duck one two four or down three four. You should not think about winning for now, but think about the small achievements like that because the more you do each and every one of these small achievements, they just begin to pile up and then the wins will come eventually. So just have fun playing and learning the game. Every time you lose, just record your match and see what you got hit with and what you can do about it. And I guess that's all I have to say. Hope you had fun watching the video and thanks for watching.